Hi laborers. Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a nice day. It's beautiful here. That always makes me feel good. Hmm. Looks like you're ready to talk to somebody. Feeling pretty independent. Might even be in a kind of a good humorous mood right now. But your uh, intuition is, is spot on. You might be taking something kind of lightly, maybe not as hard as you usually do. Uh, but you're honest. You'll talk to somebody straight across the board. I think you'd like to have an open conversation with somebody right now. Yeah, I think uh, you might be dealing with somebody who you feel may be missing a good opportunity. And is, is being a little um, incongenial towards you. Maybe not standoffish really, but just like indifferent. Like they don't really give a darn, right? They, they might even have some kind of a bullying attitude where, where they're not really focused on you. You know, they, they're making you feel uh, unappreciated or just feel like you're put down in some way by this person. Even though, you know, I don't think it's affecting you as much as this person might think it's affecting you because I think some of you are, are in kind of a good humor for some reason, okay? Hmm. You think that someone has been treating you carelessly. Yeah, maybe made a fool out of you in a way. Mm -hmm. well, that's what you think. Yeah, somebody's been cold towards you. Not reciprocating in the manner that you were treating them. Uh, and now it's causing you to feel a little, you know, empty. An emotional loss here. You're feeling unloved, basically. I think you're feeling unloved or the, this f feeling negative about this relationship, like it's not going to work out. But you're bound and determined not to let it affect you. You, you know, you're, <clears throat> you're dealing with your emotions, it looks like, on a high level. And uh, you're not going to let yourself get hurt by this. You might have been through something like this before or time and time again or whatever. And <clears throat> this time it's just not affecting you. Uh, this person in the same way that you've been affected before. You're not so highly emotional. You're looking at it more in a logical manner. You might have gone through a little bit of uh, pain. This person put this <coughs> caused you some agony. Like I say, but you're bound and determined to rise above that. They might have gave you some sleepless nights, you know, and tried to make you feel guilty about the situation. Mm -hmm. They tried to maybe kind of gaslight you in a way, make you feel like you were the negative party or the fool or the, you weren't handling the situation. Anyway, they made you feel like you were the one that was messing up the situation here in some way. Yeah. It became like, you know, you didn't even want to hear from this person because they were just, they weren't reciprocating in the manner that you would like them to. They were, they'd be delinquent or, you know, they just weren't there. You'd write them and it'd maybe take days for them to get a message back. And then you'd feel paranoid or feel like, you know, this is going to be bad news. Um, you never knew how, you know, what they were going to say or anything, but you, you kind of always felt that you wanted something deeper, but 
they were kind of shallow about the whole thing. They didn't write it as much as you wanted them to write. They weren't forthcoming, you know, probably short lines uh, when you communicated with them. So this just made you feel insecure and, and off on this relationship. So you decided that you were just going to uh, look at it logically. You win some, you lose some. And I think you were just, you know, ready to put up your guard, build a wall, and just let this person uh, do whatever they're going to do. This doesn't look like this any committed relationship here, not in this reading today, Libra. Not so far yet. Yeah, you have some kind of an, a new, you know, a new spark. You've got something, uh, you're inspired by something that you're getting enthusiastic about. You know, a new energy. You've got some new passion. Maybe even some new person coming in wanted to make you an offer. So, yeah, that's maybe why you think the whole situation with this this other person is getting kind of funny because maybe they, they just didn't see your, your worth. They didn't understand that, uh, you know, if they didn't give you the love you wanted, hey, you know, you give them your heart, you know, and uh, if they don't accept it or don't treat it the way you want it to be treated, hey, you'll give your heart to somebody else who will, who will treat it nicely. And I think that's what you're, looking at here you're it's in a funny you know you're looking at it in a different way than you normally would in this situation because you're controlling your emotions having a rain on them there's some new passion something that you're either doing or someone's coming in or you're meeting that's going to set you off on a new spark Yeah, and there it is right there. Now, I don't know if this person's going to come back and apologize, and it's going to be this person. But I just got the lover's card here, and the ace of wands in the upright position. So, ooh, yeah, that's kind of sexy sounding here. Uh, this is a harmonious partner. you got a really strong attraction to him. Now, I'm, I, I don't know yet. It could still be this person that's in your energy here that's not been treating you well and they've seen the light and they've come back around or whatever but let's carry on and see what we got going on here if you like the reading remember to hit that thumbs up button and, and subscribe I always uh, forget to ask that barely ever ask you to do it but I just thought of it so I'm sure it would do my algorithms you know, good, because, I don't know, they work somehow on all that stuff, I try not to think about it too much, just do my readings, but I could, I need it, I need the thumbs up, you know, okay, this person has been defensive, yeah, they've had their guard up around you, too, okay, that caused you to have to put your guard up around them. happens here yeah I you've been uncomfortable with this relationship and I feel like you're trying to break it off might have caused you to drink or smoke or something too much or do things to your body that you wouldn't even normally do you know just out of nerves or stress or something uh, so but I think you want to break those chains you realize that this connection may be not be going anywhere or, or it's not good for you. Mm. Mm. Now, you might be a little hesitant about this new uh, project or new person that comes in. I wonder why. Let me see here. Why are you hesitant about this new, this thing happening? Oh, okay. I think it's a love partner. Yeah. Hence the lovers. Doesn't that, see the lovers card doesn't really have to be a romantic partnership. It can be just a really great business partnership or something like that. But in this case, yeah, you just don't want to be juggled anymore. You're, 
you're concerned, so you don't know if you should put work into this or not. I'm, you know what? I'm thinking it's this. You're still thinking about this person here, the one in your energy. Hmm. I think you're passionate about this person, but you're looking at them in a logical way. So maybe you don't get hurt or whatever. Want to break this chain that you've got this emotional, mental chain with this person, whatever it is, because you just it's bugging you. It's it's causing you to be out of character. Like I say, maybe drink more or smoke or whatever. Just nerves. Person's getting on your nerves, and you're you're tired of them being indecisive with you. You don't want it anymore. You're tired of it. So you don't know if you want to work on this anymore or not, but you're still indecisive. Still being indecisive, aren't you? Okay. Okay. This person's been thinking about you. Even though they've been acting like they don't care. They've been acting dis disinterested, but they... They are interested in you, and they've been thinking about you. <clears throat> this person could be younger than you or just a little bit more immature than you. They haven't, you know, come to the, the realm of thinking that you're, that you're in. Uh, but they do see something in you. They are having feelings for you. Uh, at this date, you know, they want to explore, you know. They want to uh, possibly get to know you. See what makes you tick. See what you're all about. If they owe you an apology, that may come through as well. Yeah, they want things to change. They want things to change between you and them. They're upset too. Mm -hmm. I don't think this person uh, wants conflict in their life, actually. And they may see you as a little bit of conflict. I don't know why, not yet, but let's see. What's happened here is they didn't want to work on this relationship or situationship or whatever it was going to be. <clears throat> and now you're feeling like you shouldn't put another ounce of energy into it either. And they're going, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Libra? You know, and they're starting to question their actions. Hoping <clears throat> for a brighter tomorrow in this situation. And there could be. There could be because you're feeling stuck. Yeah, you're, you're confused. You're still on the fence about this thing, it looks like. You'd like it to move forward, but you just haven't seen any progress. It just got stuck. Hmm. Okay. And now you're wondering if you could do better on your own. You're actually not in a bad mood, though. For some reason, you're taking this, like I said, a little lighter than that than I would expect in a reading like this. Maybe you've been through this for a while now and you're starting to, uh, you know, the energy starting, this person's energy starting to leave yours and you're possibly just getting in a better mood. There is some, you know, you do have something you feel passionate about. And if it's not this relationship, then it's something that you do that, that inspires you. Uh, and that may be you may be focusing on that actually you may this may be taking you away from your work I mean like I said you could be smoking drinking more stuff like that because you're nervous but it also might be affecting your work you know you can't focus and whatever you do you you I think you enjoy what you do but it's throwing you off I think you just want to get this person out of your energy okay see here but you still got some kind of feeling for him that 
That's why you've been hanging around, hoping that maybe they'd uh, change their perspective and start to cooperate here a little bit. Looks like you're both standoffish now, so you're in kind of a battle of the wills. Who's going to call first? Who's going to drop their guard first? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? So it's kind of a power play. This person, this person just wants to cut loose for a while, and they'd like to party with you. I think this person uh, now is in that energy too, that nervous, weird energy. That, and uh, they just want to go out and party, and they want to party with you. They want to see how fun you are, how much fun you can be. If you don't know this person, you haven't really gone out with them for a whole evening or or anything like that. They just want to get to know you. They don't want a stick in the mud. They don't want a bummer. They don't want somebody that's going to bring them down. This person wants somebody that they can party with, enjoy themselves with, and uh, laugh and have a good time. They want to laugh. Okay. They might have been pent up for a long time in some situation, and now they just want to get a little bit taste of some fun and freedom. This person's been wounded somewhere in the past. Ha could have to do with the way they were brought up. I, I, I don't mean wounded, but I mean um, uh, they've been conditioned or they've been formed or created or by the, the ideas, uh, you know, the tradition or whatever of their family. And their father had a big influence on them or their mother. Either case here. So their energy is unbalanced. They battle, you know, talk about unbalanced energies, right? Libra, that's a, uh, the scales right there. You know, you're always going like this, trying to get it. That's why you're always so nervous in your head all the time, Libra, because you're always constantly trying to get those scales balanced. You just want your life to run so smoothly, but ah, it's hard to do. That's a, that's a tough wish right there. But anyway, their energy is unbalanced. I don't know how long that's been going on, but I think it's they've had some sort of energy imbalance since their youth. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. To be raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm uh, still working on. Yeah, well, there we go. They're, they're unbalanced. Uh, they're, they have intimacy issues. They just, I don't know, some people just can't open up their heart and other people wear their heart on their sleeves. You know, and there's all kinds of reasons for that, I imagine, but, you know, and both of them put you in a vulnerable situation. Uh, people who have emotional, in, uh, emotional intimacy problems uh, come from uh, probably being too vulnerable in the past or or damaged. And they can't, they don't want to go there anymore. Like a person who wants to be celibate, you know, virtuous or whatever. They just, uh, there's all kinds of ways you can go with this. But they can't be authentic. They can't just let it all out. But they're working on it. It's something that they've been working on. Being more giving, more forthcoming. You're mysterious, Libra. I never seem to, to uh, figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me, and I never really know what's going on with you. Yeah, of course. 
Yeah, you're mysterious, Libra, because you know what? You have a you have an agenda too. I mean, especially now, if if you've been experienced for a while, you know, if you're younger, good luck, Libras, for the young Libras, because you just tend to throw your heart right out there, wear it on your sleeve, express your emotions right away, you know, because you're full of love. Your heart's just bursting with love, and you want. You dream about romance and everything because you're, you know, your planet is Venus, basically. And, uh, but then you get older after you get hurt over and over again, Libra. Then you start to toughen up, see things a little bit more logically, start to protect your emotions. And then you become mysterious because you have an agenda, basically. You're looking for the perfect partner, always looking. But when you get into a relationship, you're, you're loyal. If you really love the person, you're loyal. But you can also let somebody go like that if they, if, if they keep your scales too out of balance. So, Yeah, you're mysterious. They don't know where they stand with you. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you've got this, uh, you've got this scale or you know, checklist, and they, they don't know where, you're at on the, where they're at on the checklist. If they've made too many mistakes yet or not. They're hoping to stay on your good side. And you know what? This lover's card is in the upright position. And I mean, that's positive. So I think if you could work your this situation out with this person that we're talking about here, whether it's somebody brand new or I, this person's new. Too. I mean, they're not. You haven't been with them for a long time or anything like this. This is one of those new relationships where you're trying to get together with each other, but there's hurdles and it's awkward. It's 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 kind of awkward here. Yeah, they definitely are carrying wounds. From their family, their young life. It says here that their mother's behavior influenced them, caused them to have ch challenges with the connecting with their divine energy. So, yeah, this person, they've experienced something in their youth or when they were young that Cause them to become emotional, uh, have emotional intimacy problems. I'm, I wouldn't go as far to say there was any kind of weird shit going on with their family. This is just something how the f mother and father interacted with each other, and it, it, it uh, put a mark on them, or you know, caused them just you know normally. You grow up, up with people, you know, they raise you, and then you just normally start acting like they do. Because that's all you, all you know. So they take after their parents, and their parents uh, probably were fighting, divorced, you know, just didn't have a good relationship. This person is still attached to something from their past, like, like an ex or something that they. It's like a burden on them. They, this this person's energy is still with them because they, well, they want to break the connection with this ex or who, whatever it is. It's somebody that's causing them to have uh, an emotional problem and, and it even carries through to the physical it's depressing for them you know um, they, they're attached to this person somehow spiritually emotionally but they want to break that this could this is like like someone who depends on them and they're sick of it and they don't really love the person they just want to get them out of their hair get them out of their energy like it could be an ex that just won't leave them alone or has caused them some monetary problems or something like that. They think you're truly special, really. 
because you're different, you know, and you're mysterious. They've never really run into somebody who they've felt the energy like yours before. And they can't get enough of it. Enough of it. They're kind of addicted to your energy now. And I don't know how that's affecting them, you know, if they like that or not. But I do feel there's a little codependency here. This person might have codependent issues. That might stem from their mother and father too. So I, I think maybe when they get attached to somebody, they they don't want them to abandon them. They they want to keep them, uh, you know. But hmm. they think you're really special. They're afraid of. Well, they're worried that they're going to get codependent on you. That's one of their problems. So they're. They've been backing away, yeah, acting like they don't want to work on the relationship and making you feel stuck. This person maybe not got the attention that they really wanted. They might, their parents might have worked a lot. They might have been alone a lot. They just like feeling wanted. They have a, um insecure feeling about themselves, low self-esteem is what's going on with this person. So they just want people around them and they want a good environment where they can feel loved. And uh, th they don't, they just don't feel whole unless they're, they, they can feel love, some love. So yeah, this person uh, maybe have abandonment issues or they just didn't get the love, the time, the attention. Yeah, there's so many things this person wants to say to you. They want to open up to you, but they don't know if you care, if you'll li even listen to them. And uh, then if you do listen, they, they, they want to know if you'll believe them. So this person has a lot of insecurities, a lot of self-doubts. I think they, uh, they're they a little aware of how they were uh, delinquent or absent basically in this relationship now they're understanding that but they want to tell you all about it they want to open up they want to tell you about their life what they love what they want to do they want to share all that with you but they just aren't secure enough in your in your connection so they built a wall and they're acting like uh, they don't give a damn basically but they do they're just being like that because they're protecting, or they're overprotective. They're just very protective of their, of their heart and mind. You know, heart and mind are basically the same. Your heart is in your mind. Yeah, we had this card last time too. They get jealous at the thought of you being with somebody else. Like when I said, you could just give your heart to somebody else. Yeah, you don't want it? Yeah, I'll give it to somebody else. That's driving them crazy. That is driving them crazy. They're attracted to you, physically at least. You know, I, I don't know in what other aspects they're attracted to you, but they're attracted to you physically. And that's, I think, why they really want to get to know you more. Now, this is good. There's nothing wrong with somebody wanting to really get to know you for a while. Of course, you don't want them stringing you along for years or something like that. You know, there's a time limit to everything. In fact, time waits for nobody. Time just keeps rolling. <clears throat> so, yeah, they get jealous. Yeah, exactly. I'm acting like I don't care about what's happening between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. Man, that's a weird situation, right? They're bothered, all right, but they want to appear unbothered and just keep hanging in this energy of uh, self-doubt, doubting you, you know. Are they happy? Happier? Just... You know, closing off their heart and going around like that with a sealed off heart. Are they happy that way? No, they're not. 
In fact, this person shed tears over you, over this situation, male or female. Men cry, they just don't show it. Men are very sensitive when it comes to female uh, situations and their emotions and stuff like that. You know, they want to, men want to hide their feelings and stuff too most of the time. When women are the ones that just uh, really let the emotions out, but men have it too. So, yeah, they've shed tears over you, according to this reading here, you know. Take a couple of these. You know, maybe they haven't just cried about you. It's just when they think about you, they cry. But, you know, because it reminds them of their whole pattern, just the way they are. They're crying over the whole situation of how they can't balance their emotional energy. So they just ignore it. They just shut it off. And that's making them sad. Yeah. Yeah. Making them sad. Mm, observe. Mm -hmm. I think you're both observing each other on the social medias. Wherever you can, you're trying to keep in uh, surveillance of each other so that you can try and get a grasp on this. If you're not talking to each other right now, yeah, you're definitely trying to survey, survey each other. I don't know if you're not talking or not. It doesn't say you're not talking in the reading. It just, you're unhappy with each other. Well, they're unhappy with themselves, mostly. They're not unhappy with you. You're unhappy with them. Well, the universe is suggesting that you might want to start keeping a journal of some sort. You know, of your emotions, your things you're up to, what you know, like a diary, kind of. Keep track of all this. Come back and read it someday and have a good laugh. Maybe read it with this person after you've worked out all your issues. I don't want to give you any false hope, though. I don't see here whether you're coming together or not. That this relationship here is, is too young. You're going to have to make a lot of decisions along this way, this path here. Hmm. Now, you might be able to get together with this person in some, in some community kind of a thing, where there's some people gathering to have fun and enjoy friendship. You know, a lighthearted occasion. Uh, when you're really relaxing, sounds like a vacation or something, but you could, you know, get together, or you could have met them someplace like that, at a, you know, a small gathering, or just some people laughing, having a good time, and you picked up on each other's energy, and, you know, one of you decided you'd communicate with the other and get to think, see if you could get something going, or you could be, you know, meeting them like that again, or, you know, in the future here. Maybe if you did that once before, maybe you're going to do it again. Or maybe you didn't do it before and you're just going to do it, something like that. But it's a community setting where you're going to all be having fun. I'm getting the feeling this has already happened. You got together with this person in some kind of friendly gathering. Yeah, yeah. I think what you're doing is you're, you're just taking a pause. You're just stepping back, like I was working out here earlier. You've, you've come to the point where, you know, you just don't, you don't think you ought to invest anymore into this until something happens on their side. So you're taking a pause. You're just standing back. You're waiting for some signs, you know. You're just... Waiting for that phone to ring, basically. 
that little beep to go off or whatever, right? Or any kind of signs that, uh, because you, you two really do need to talk. Now, if you don't want to initiate it and you've had enough and you're just stepping back and you're, you're waiting to see if they're, if they're going to uh, get a hold of you, This person's concerned about their money and their welfare right now. Status means a lot to this person too. They're they're in the 3D. Yeah, they want to make their mark. They're they're out to uh, achieve something financially. That may be their main focus right now. That might be one of the reasons you feel like they put you on the shelf. Focusing on their subsistence. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to use that card because it's too... Hmm. Just pulled out a card and it said, the answer to your question is no. But I can't accept that in this reading. There is no answer here yet. Now, I don't know what, what question you're asking, but I'm going to pull this card aside and take it out of the reading. I don't answer questions for people. You know, you've got to make your own decision. I just give you encouragement or insight, whatever I can to help. I don't like these cards that say your answer is no. You know, this isn't a magic eight ball. I don't like that any more than a card that says yes. Sacred space. Yeah. You're spiritual, most of you. You're into your spirituality. You walk with your higher power all day long. You know, a lot of people, they really don't need to meditate or manifest or... Because once you're hooked up spiritually... It, that that's just with you all day 24 7 your life is a prayer your life is a meditation once you're highly spiritual so connect with your sacred space you know light some candles do something that makes you feel like you're in a sacred space This card says that everything's going to be beautiful in the spring for you. But last reading we said things were going to come together in the winter and you'd find out a lot of information. Well, maybe by spring everything will all have come together. You've taken all that information and, and uh, worked things out. Maybe by spring it's, you're going to have a whole new, whole new life. Okay. Yeah, this person uh, has developed an ego, the person that's in your, your energy. And that's what they're using. That's what they use, you know, a little bit of uh, arrogance and ego to build that wall. That's what that wall is made out of. Behind that wall, they're not that way. This is a false image. They're wearing a bit of a mask, but I don't think it's in an evil way. I think it's just to protect their own emotions. A very emotional person here who pretends to be not. Yeah, and they're in regret. Life regrets. Hmm. Yeah, I think this person has been working on themselves, working on their own energy, their own mind, what they really want out of life. And they have some regrets, you know. So what they're doing is they're, uh, they're trying to make more empowered decisions, more dynamic decisions, uh, 
and hold him to these decisions. They're trying to change their life. Uh, I don't know if they're playing the victim here or what's going on. I say this this relationship is hasn't come along enough to be very decisive hasn't come far enough but they do want to make some changes they, they have regrets many regrets in their life they're, they're carrying this baggage of possibly having to do with this ex as well that might have really messed them up as broken uh, relationships will do, generally. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be opening, open to talking now? Yeah, they want to get to know you. They want a deep conversation, and they want to tell you all about themselves. Yeah, but it's a, like I say, it's a standoff here. I'm getting the feeling here that it's going to come together eventually. You're going to, you know, there's going to be some clarity. There's going to be some truth, revelations, and some humor. I mean, yeah, you, you guys might be able to break out this journal and sit back and laugh about it, how it all came down once you get it together. You're still both protected, though. You know, you're, you're, you're both powerful people in your own right. You really are. But there's going to be some revelations. There's going to be some humor. Once you get this clarity, it's going to be like an aha moment, and you all just can laugh about it. Maybe that's this spring or this winter. Who knows? Insane chemistry. You like each other equally. And it's going to be fun. You're going to have fun. Like I say, you might have had fun with this person already. And that's how you got together. Somewhere. Some circumstance where people were enjoy, enjoying themselves. Yeah. If there's distance between you, and it seems like there is some kind of distance, it doesn't feel good to them. It just doesn't feel good. And probably doesn't to you either. Texting, messaging, all that stuff, you can't be humorous. You, everybody takes things wrong. It's really hard. I mean, you can be short and just connect like that. But if you're trying to get a relationship going through online, man, good luck with that. And I, They don't like it, and uh, you, you may not like it either. I think you both really want to get together. It just doesn't feel good, you know texting. It's taken wrong. So if you can get together, have a few laughs, maybe a cocktail, a nice dinner, whatever, go do some dancing, get to know the person, get the feel of them, you know. Yeah, I think the more distance that grows between you, the more they think about it. Is uh, they just think about how attractive you are, how more and more attractive they are uh, becoming. And I don't think it's just your your appearance, physical appearance. I think this person. It's important to this person that they have have it all. You know, they want it all. They. They want the balanced relationship, and of course you do too. That's why I say this person could be the perfect mate if it works out. I do have that Ace of Wands right next to that, though, and that's a new, you know, this could go either way. If you decide you don't want this uh, this person, I, I think they're good, though. Um, you might just want to keep your options open because you got something. If it isn't this person, it's going to be somebody else that you're going to be passionate about. So You may already realize that. Anyway, we'll look at the story some more next time. Until then, 
Thanks for stopping by. Peace and love to you.